artists. Today we are going to continue our Keith Haring inspired project. Now we have to transfer this image. If you're not done with this image yet, I suggest you start that before moving on to this. So what we're going to do is we have to get a sharpie and put our name on this, this here so I know it's yours. So obviously I'm a Z. Our class code is blank and we are fourth grade, whatever. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Then I'm going to take my picture and I'm gonna put it on top of the side that does not have my name. I'm gonna put it right on top. And I'm going to give you a piece of tape that you are going to stick to the top. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it to the top so that it looks like a book now. I've got a book. See this book? And I think we've done this before a long time ago. Um, if you want to stick one on the bottom too because you don't feel confident that you're gonna get it all over the place and it's gonna move, then it won't move on you. So we're going to transfer this image to this plate, this plate, this styrofoam plate here. And how I'm gonna do that is I need my pencil. Now I've been using this pencil so it's nice and dull, so it's gonna work nice for me. If you want to use a colored pencil so you can see it better, you can see like what you draw, whatever. So I'll give you an example. So if I'm gonna do this with like a color pencil, I can see what I drew already because it's darker. So I'm just gonna trace all of my lines. Only the lines that I want on the plate. All right, I've got most of my stuff. I'm gonna add actually extra lines, um, but when you're at this point, you can then take it off. And I'm just gonna take the tape off. I don't really need this paper anymore, but um, I'm just gonna fold the tape over. I'm gonna hold on to it just in case. I can put it in my sketchbook. I'm gonna hold on to it. Now I have this guy. I can barely tell that I can barely see it. So what that means is I'm gonna go in with my pencil and I'm gonna trace even darker now. All right, Mona. Now that I have traced all the lines that I drew before, I'm gonna add, I have some extra space here and I don't really like it. I wanna fill that space in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just go for it and add some extra lines in there. Maybe I wanna add something else. I can add another heart, but make sure it's big. Remember we talked about making these shapes really big. They have to be pretty big. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make some fun lines. Remember the movement lines, just kind of get funky with it, adding in some lines, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking my time. I'm really thinking about these lines before I put them down and they have to be very bold, thick lines. Look at all those amazing lines I have on there. There's a lot of movement going on in this picture. So 
So at this point, some of you may be, may be done. You're like, I'm done, I did all my lines, I think I filled it in, you checked with me. And I said, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to cut out some of these big shapes. So if you're not ready for that today, that's okay. Um, but if you are, I'm gonna show you how we're going to do that. Since we may not be printing again until next week, I'm gonna give you a Ziploc bag. And when you're done with your pieces, I'm going to, we're gonna put your stuff in your Ziploc bag. So if you're ready for this part, you're ready for your scissor. I'm only going to cut out these main shapes. So my main symbols. And I'm gonna show you how. You're also going to have some tape because you're gonna to wanna to only make one cut here, and then you're gonna cut along this line. So how I do that is I just start where the shortest part is, and then I start to cut out my, my person. Now I take it away, I remember we were, we were working on cutting here, and I take my scissor away when I need to. And I turn my paper, not my scissor. And there's my guy. I'm going to put him to the side. And then I'm going to cut out my next shapes. Now remember we talked about only making one cut. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little piece of tape. And I'm going to go on the back. And I'm just going to tape that part. So my whole printing plate doesn't fall apart. And then I'm going to move on to the next part. going for the shortest distance. Mona! Now that I have all my shapes printed out, this was kind of hard, and I made sure that all my pieces were taped, so that piece is not taped, so I gotta do that. I'm gonna put all of my shapes in that bag, and what I would like to do is I would, I'm gonna put all this back in my book. So we're gonna take our shapes, we're gonna put them inside of our bag. And I don't need to put my name on it or anything. I'm just gonna take all of this. I'm gonna get my book. And I'm gonna put it all away. Even if you're not done early, um, you're not done, just put it away in your book so that you have it for next week. 